Rivalry Week on NCAA 2K20. We're halfway through the conference season and we celebrate it with three of the most fearsome matchups in college basketball. Michigan State will try to put themselves firmly into the NCAA tournament conversation with a win over Michigan. Kansas and Kansas State will ignite Allen Fieldhouse as they battle for first place in the Big 12. And in prime time, UCLA and USC will go to war as UCLA attempts to take a two-game lead atop the Pac-12. Who will earn supreme bragging rights in these three heated matchups? NCAA 2K20 starts right now. NCAA 2K20 on GA Sports is brought to you by Derek's NCAA 2020-2021 rosters. These are the most authentic college basketball rosters ever produced, featuring true-to-life player faces, ratings, and tendencies, as well as fully customized teams, coaches, and lineups. Check out the Patreon featured in the description so you can get the roster when it drops, plus monthly updates. Come be a part of the most ambitious project in sports gaming by clicking the link in the description. First game here of Rivalry Week, and, well, I mean, it's it's only one of the most ferocious rivalries in college basketball. Two story programs, Michigan State and Michigan. All right, getting it started with a little flair there, I see, <laughs> from the Wolverines on this bright yellow court. Oh. Yep, good D. We've had a moment to reset, and we're back oh, now. Wow. We're back for this episode of, of GA Sports. <laughs> and we're going to start with a bang, a nice little three-point play. So, uh, this is a really good opportunity for Michigan State to get back involved in the uh, in the Big Ten and, and you know, maybe maybe start looking at that well, second-place spot. Potentially. Yeah. I mean, when you look at what they've been doing, they've won two in a row coming into this game. The conversation beat Maryland beginning. on the road, beat Minnesota. Their non-conference record is not great, obviously. Oh! Oh, oh what a block. Wow, Xavier Simpson. One more money. What? There. Ah! I'm, we'll take that. <laughs> I'm, oh, Josh Langford. It's where the wheels come off the bus. Goes. Good take there. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, and one. Wow. That's insane, Teske with that. Wow, what a take there. Oh, ball lies though, ball lies. Speaking of fun, I don't know if there are two teams in the nation that are having any more fun than the number one and two ranked teams, Duke and Memphis. Both of them stay undefeated with a couple pretty straightforward wins uh, this past week. And uh, I mean, again, I think we might be destined for a tournament oh. matchup between those two giants. Yeah, absolutely. And I that, could not I, be more excited, honestly. I think that'd be great if they can both go through the season undefeated. Um, I don't know how realistic that is, especially for. I mean, if Memphis can, Memphis has to be the favorite. Yep. Oh, shot clock. Beautiful. Memphis has to be the favorite. Um, if they go you through think? the season undefeated. Oh, absolutely. Their conference is insane. They have to yeah, be. Yeah, fair, fair. I, I, you know, and I pick I pick Duke as well, but I, I think Duke may falter late season in their own conference. Oh, interesting. Just, just oh, just throw it down. Wow, Brown's throwing it down. There's another team right now that... <gasps> uh... That's straight up. <laughs> that was definitely not a foul. That was definitely not a foul. Ball don't Ball lie. Lies. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, there's a team right now that is going in the exact opposite direction, and that team is Texas Tech. They were the number three ranked team coming into conference play. They've now lost three in a row, and they went down 68-61 to West Virginia. That game mm. wrapped up uh, a little while ago. Uh, West Virginia's Culver drops 20 points in that game. So, See, that, uh, that breaks tough, my heart. Tough times. Tough Next times to Seton Hall. Rangers. Yeah, next to Seton Hall, Texas Tech is my... Oh, get! That's the oh, second time I've blocked God. him. Get out of here! I didn't mean to foul. <laughs> Texas. Yeah, everyone. Nope. I want everyone to see that <laughs> Griffin wasn't even selected on the guy. Griffin knows I will cook him in the paint. That's why Griffin doesn't select and play me in the paint anymore. Langford, Langford, driving Have in. Joshua Langford. Second chance opportunity and shots made through four arms in his face. Legends are made at these schools yep, by yep. performing travel. <gasps> yep. 
we've never had to travel the entire series, and they're going to literally call <laughs> one there. Legends are made at these schools by performing in these games, and Joshua Langford is doing exactly that. And now Rocket Watts has his no, turn. No, 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 no. We talked at length about the, the power no pun intended, of that non-Power 5 conference and how much you like Seton Hall. They've picked up yet another win, beating Gonzaga, final score 53-42. Quincy McKnight drops 14 off the bench. And I will take that steal. Hall all the way. That's only Xavier Simpson. What do you mean? If that goes fall in. away. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was Cassius Winston back in the game, and he immediately goes with the steal. Up ahead, Langford. Oh, oh what my a move. Goodness, that was a move. That was a move. Langford. That was a move and a half there. What did I just say about a star making performance? Gosh. Yep. Oh my gosh. Guess who it is? Guess who it is? So far out. Yep, oh. we'll take that. So you're telling me that your players will do that, but mine can't do that. Yeah, that's a travel. For driving. You want to talk about a travel? <laughs> he walked half the fucking court. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, wow. Joshua Langford is doing everything right now. Michigan needs points on this possession under Please. a minute left. Cheating the rules. My good lord. <laughs> Runner. No. That's beautiful. Wow. Yeah, that's beautiful. What a shot. Langford, jumper, mid-range. That's a foul, ref. <laughs> That's in. Oh, no. Walker can what? Make it. Oh, we're lucky there. No. No. Foul. Oh, I didn't mean to push it. No, 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 no. All right, let's rotate. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see what Michigan can do here. Let's see even what their strategy is. Take the three or... I mean, at this point, it looks like they're not going for a quick two, so you're going to have to take oh the three. Oh, my gosh. Stuck in him. <laughs> Where are right. you going, Castleton? Where are you going, to Julius? <laughs> are you guys dumb? Foul him! <laughs> are you guys dumb? <laughs> Is this that game was... dumb? Does this game not know what my setup is? Is this dumb? We're going to pick up the win anyway. On the get road the board. At I Michigan. can't even get the fucking board. <laughs> I'm done. This is honestly gross. I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed to have been a part of this. To be honest, from, from my side of things. Oh, man. I know Michigan State will not be ashamed to be a part of this because the Spartans have now won three in a row after a disastrous start to their season. Let's show you the updated Big Ten standings and how Michigan State could be wiggling their way into an NCAA tournament berth. All right, sorry about some technical difficulties. We missed the first couple seconds here, but uh, I'm so I'm I'm gonna get started get started hot anyway, and this is what we wanted to see right here. Yeah, technical difficulties on the court as well, <laughs> turning over the ball. <laughs> yeah, in terms of uh, oh, yep, that's a beautiful <laughs> I'll take. take. That's, that's a Ojai that's a beautiful Ogbaji. take. Yes. Now this is a big game in the Big Twelve oh, as well, no. uh, because of course these two teams are battling for first place. In the Big 12 Conference, both of them are sat at 3-1 and one coming into this big rivalry matchup. Kansas and then, of course, TCU. Uh, they just wrapped up their game against the Baylor Bears. And we will show you a highlight of that finish right now because it was, it was TCU's Francisco Farabello hitting this three-pointer with 10 seconds left. The Horn Frogs go on to beat Baylor. And Baylor was looking at maybe going three and two in conference. How was that? Yeah, I'll take it. Thank no, thank <laughs> you. There's another score also that has some major implications for the game that we're going to see next. Of course, UCLA USC in prime time, and uh, Oregon 
goes on and beats Arizona earlier. 68-61 is the final there. And so that result with Arizona losing two straight means that should UCLA win against USC later today, every Pac-12 team will have two losses and UCLA will have a two-game lead. Kansas is firing on all cylinders here in this why, rivalry why, game. Why are we passing there? You have a wide open three, and I can't even get the... <laughs> Yep, 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 three guys standing there, and it falls right. <laughs> everyone watching, everyone watching, I'm not having fun. Let's tell you about one other score while we're here, because in terms of a team that might be pulling away, Purdue could be pulling away in the Big Ten. And we'll take a look at those standings as we tell you that Purdue, uh, well, they just keep on rolling. They beat Maryland earlier, 69-64 is the final Noel Eastern. Dropped 16 in that game for the Boilermakers. So Purdue's certainly looking good right now. <laughs> Conference play, I'm getting absolutely slapped sideways, though. <laughs> everyone, everyone knows that. Good screen there. That was a really well-designed play. <laughs> yeah, why? But why, why would it go in? Why? Tell me right now. Yeah, and then my guys just moves. Dots. Just tell me right oh now why God. that would ever go in. I, I honestly, I feel dirty being a part of this. Properly. Put it up. Yep, DeSouza will finish that one with the reverse jam. We'll take the double-digit lead. Well, Two-tenths of a second left there. Up by six, I think it is. Yeah, yep. six. It's a closer game than expected. It's rivalry week, baby. Exactly. You can never rivalry count any team week. out of any game during rivalry week. Unless I'm controlling them. They're all, <laughs> they're all ready out. I'm going to start fantastic. screen recording so everyone can see this. Play it inside. Oh, my gosh. He's still Ill. He's still open. He's literally. Great D. I'm just, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Well, uh, Kansas is going to take sole control of first place in the Big 12 with a big win here over in-state rivals Kansas State. The Jayhawks are hot right now. And uh, Kansas State, maybe not so much. But we have our primetime game coming up next. One of the oldest rivalries in all of college sports, UCLA versus USC for first place in the Pac-12. You will not want to miss it, and it's next. Prime time here from beautiful Los Angeles, California. And it is one of the most heated rivalries in college sports, not just in college basketball, but if there is a college sport, you can bet that UCLA and USC are rivals and they hate each other. College <laughs> basketball, just one example of that. Both of these teams tied. Oh, no. <laughs> no, you can leave Insane. right now. <laughs> Both these teams tied for first place in the Big 12. Or Big 12, Pac-12, sorry. Uh, and so should UCLA win this game, that would send... Or I, I shouldn't say they're tied. I should say if USC wins, they'll be tied. And if UCLA wins, then that'll send USC to two losses, and they will join Arizona and Oregon as two lost teams in the Pac-12, and UCLA will have a two-game lead up in first. But right now, USC is certainly looking solid early on. That was quick, quick trigger by me. <laughs> Got a little happy. <laughs> Tiger Campbell driving in, wow. taking it straight to the chest of Nick Rakosevic. Rakosevic, we figured that out. Uh, final score here from the SEC to report. Tennessee, who was tied for first with, with uh, Auburn. <laughs> yep, Jalen Hill. I'll take that. Hill again, another one. Thank you. Oh, wow. Yeah, Tennessee was tied for first in the SEC with Auburn. They oh, faced like, off uh, this week. Like, he just stopped dribbling. <laughs> Riley Campbell, great pass, Cody. Uh, Tennessee won that matchup. 59 54 was the final. Fulkerson finishes with 12, game high for the Volunteers. So Tennessee takes over first place in the SEC. Why is he running away? That's literally not even the way I'm going. <laughs> oh, Cody Riley sends him home. 
Oh, emphatic block. Campbell puts it up. Riley with the reverse jam. Yeah, you need to call a timeout after that. It's a staple on the channel. The ball don't lie call out. <laughs> that is a GA Sports staple. I'm literally, there. I'm literally there. I'm literally reading the lane that he's going to pass the ball. My player doesn't automatically pick it off like yours do. <laughs> Disgusting. Well, if, you're, if that's what reading the lane looks like, then that's about the type of education that, that I would expect you to get at USC. It wasn't, it wasn't a rivalry game down in Tallahassee earlier today, but it still was a fantastic game nonetheless. Yep, you can you can go ahead and take that home with you. Please, please As tell me how Rakosovich put up 40 in that one game against Texas Tech by making <laughs> shots like that and misses has missed every single one here like that. Please tell me how that is consistent game. Well, I I, I, I couldn't really tell you. But what I can tell you is Florida State beats Louisville in oh. overtime. 89-86 is I'm the final. Cody Riley. Nope. Come on. And uh, in that game, Trent Forrest for the Seminoles. 19 points. Great performance for him. And a great performance for Florida State to pick up the win there and continue to uh, make their names known front and center in that ACC, which is pretty much Duke and everybody else. Good active hands there, by the way. Thank you. Finally, let's go. Uh, let's go, USC. Come on. UCLA will certainly be looking at this game, should they lose, as a major blown opportunity given how big of a lead they could have opened up. Oh, that's great passing. Chris Smith, beautiful. Uh, I rotated. Stink it. Good block. Good block. Oh, Good block. Sharif. You're going home with that one, my friend. Yep, yep, we got to back out. Can we get a point guard <gasps> up here? Oh, I went for that. I thought I could get If this goes money. in, Prince if this Ali goes in. No, money. no, no, no. <laughs> That's literally no different than what I just did. You got him up. That's supposed to go down low. Oh, my gosh, but I have to be in the shooting motion. Your guard gets the offensive board. Jalen Hill sends him home. Jalen Hill sends him home again. How did I not get that? And yep, then Jalen the Hill gets the steal there. Outlet, that, Prince Ali. Prince yeah, Ali, take it all no, no, the way. No. Flush no, 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 no. Why didn't my guy steal it just like your guy stole it back from me? That's what I don't get. That's bullshit. I'm stuck in my own player again. Oh, yep, no go. way. Don't, back court, back don't court, you back dare. Court. Yep. No. Yep. Yep. Don't you yep. dare yep. reward yep. him yep. for doing that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get out of here, I'm, game. No, I've been stuck. In, no, I've been stuck for five straight games. I've been stuck in my own players. It's about time that happened to you. <laughs> That's the only reason. Normally, I'd be upset about it, but. <laughs> Gosh, these players are like running through mud right now. Uh, it's been a long, it's been a knockdown, drag out fight here. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Patience, wow. Weaver. All right, Patience. All right. What are we going to do here is the real question. Patience. No timeout called. UCLA yeah, is just going to go that with was it. A good decision. Jaime Jaquez for the tie. Beautiful. Oh, my Beautiful. God. Oh, it's about damn time. Let's go. I am disgusted that he just missed that wide open look. That That's just uh, it's the most unceremonious end to a game I can think of. And the most unceremonious end to an episode I can think of. All right. UC USC picks up the three-point win. We got a tie atop the Pac-12. We'll show you those standings as we get out of here. We've got the second half of conference play still to go. So make sure you subscribe so you can see every minute of conference basketball. We appreciate you.